Well, I like that question because it's kind of a fun one to talk about because it really goes to the energy efficiency of an intercept SIP panel house. Uh, one of the things that you want to do as you're preparing and planning your home, talk to your HVAC, your heating and air conditioning contractor, and make sure that he builds his system that's compatible with an intercept home. The reason I mention that is if they go by the old rule of thumb that so many square feet need such this, this size of a system, they're going to overbuild it because this is not your traditional old, old house. It doesn't have the drafts. It doesn't have the air infiltration. It doesn't have the thermal bridging. And so we want to make sure that we're not overbuilding our heating system, but more importantly, that we're not overbuilding our air conditioning system. Air conditioning runs more efficient when it's running at a higher capacity. If it's only running now and then, it doesn't dry the air out. And so this is something we want to make sure that we're sizing. If your HVAC contractor has any questions about that, we can help them through the process. There's excellent software out there that takes structural insulated panels into consideration when it's, when it's sizing systems, and we can use that as well. Now, something to, to, to tie into that system is a fresh air exchange system. This isn't unique to SIPs. This is something that because of the energy codes that we're, we're meeting and the efficiency and tightness of our homes, we want to use an energy, uh, uh, air exchange system of one form or another. And again, your, your HVAC contractor will help you see what different options there are for uh, air exchange systems. The other question with HVAC is where do we run the ductwork and the venting? Now, it's important to remember, just like with a traditional home, we, tr we're, we try not to put any extra penetrations through our exterior walls. So we're going to run that below the floor, up through the floor in front of windows and so on, and we're going to put cold air returns on interior walls so that we're not putting penetrations in the exterior walls. This is just the exterior uh, shell of your home. And so at that point, you're going to, everything will be in place. You don't have to, to make any sacrifices there. And on top of that, you're going to have nice warm floors and you're going to enjoy a really cozy setting all winter long.